name is Ajim Karanja. I'm only 26 years old. I, am, I graduated in 2013 with a Bachelor of Science in Statistics and Computing. Right now I, I run a company called Mutari Farm Limited. We are a medium-sized mushroom growing farm. We are located in Limuru in Kiambu. After I finished my studies in April 2013, uh, I had this mindset that I wanted to go into self-employment. When I thought of doing mushrooms, I had no idea how to go about it. I had to seek information from the internet. Plus, I was also very lucky to have a mentor. I identified another farmer who was doing the same, and I asked him for guidance. After that, then, I had to set up the structures. I started with two rooms. Right now, I have six growing houses. I have two permanent staff, and I employ others on a casual basis. The process of mushroom growing starts with the making of the compost. The first thing that you do is soak it in water, the wheat straw. You have to keep on turning it, you have to keep on adding water. And there are various additives that you also have to add on to it. Once your compost is about four weeks old, we take it to what we call the sterilization chamber. We boil water and then that steam is directed into that sterilization chamber. After the compost is ready, what we do is we broadcast the spawn, the mushroom spawn, onto the, the, the already sterilized compost and then we input it in bags. Then those bags are taken into the growing houses. After two weeks, we do what we call casing. Casing is just basically adding a layer of soil for water retention. Uh, harvesting usually begins after five, week, five weeks after the crop has been taken into the room. So we bring them into the packaging room here where we buy, whereby we sort them out, we weigh them and then we package them ready for the market. The most interesting thing about mushroom growing is that I can, it grows very quickly. You see, in a span of 11 weeks you are able to harvest. So translate that into a year. You can have up to three growing cycles in a year. That is far more profitable than other crops that we have. The reason that led me to get into self-employment was that I wanted to live a comfortable life. And I also thought, I also knew that the energy of the youth doesn't last for, for such a long time. I want to build enough reserves to cater for that time when I get, when I'm no longer able to work, when I no longer have the energy. Plus you cannot work all your lifetime. I, I want to live a comfortable life when I retire. And that is why I recently joined a pension scheme. I save on a monthly basis something to help me live a comfortable life once I retire. It's never too early to start. You can start saving for retirement as early as you start working. My advice to you is join a registered pension scheme. Start saving now to build enough reserves to help you live a comfortable life in retirement. Retirement Benefits Authority. Safeguarding your retirement benefits.